everybody. Uh, my name is Rachel. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the information age. So, let's just start with what is the information age? Well, it's this crazy world we find ourselves living in today. Age of cell phones, computers, artificial intelligence, and memes. <laughs> but what's really the point of all this? What does it do for us and what can we gain from it? Well, we're standing at the apex of human knowledge in this very moment. And we know that there's really nowhere but up from here. So what approach do we take to all of this information? We, we have it all here, but this is where we need to understand the importance of being scientifically literate in this global age that we're in. So we have all this information, and how, how did we really get here, right? Um, I ask myself that question a lot of the time. I'm asking myself that right now. How did I, how did I get to stand right here today? Well, when I get to feel like that, there's a little quote that I like to remind myself of that came from one of my favorite professors. And it goes like this. I'm not gonna butcher that, because I do not speak Latin. <laughs> but roughly translated, it translates to, we stand on the shoulders of giants. Now, it's a metaphor, right? We, we have all of these intellectuals that came before us that learned all of these things and did all of these different experiments and we're supposed to learn from them and stand on their shoulders and see farther and reach higher, right? So, time for your exam. <laughs> Don't worry, this won't affect your final grade. I'm gonna take you through a quick two question quiz to determine your level of scientific literacy. Now, before your eyes glaze over, it really won't be that bad, I promise. Question number one, what is the enterprise of science? Anybody? Anyone? No? Well, it's easy. In short, the enterprise of science is understanding the universe. It's asking the hard questions. It's testing the theories, testing the hypotheses, and basically just being skeptical of everything probably why I enjoy it so much. You're not supposed to take anything at face value. So for example, Sir Isaac Newton, discoverer of all the laws of gravity, and he created all that insane calculus that I know we all love. The story goes it was just because an apple fell on his head, and he wondered why. Invent gravity, clearly. <laughs> so we ask the question, we test the theory, and we're skeptical. On to question two. How does science benefit humanity? In present day, examples of this are obvious. Pasteurization had huge benefits for public health when it was invented. You have air conditioning, electricity, the x-ray, the discovery of DNA, paper, Teflon, the theory of relativity. The list goes on, and trust me, I could go on for years and years, but I don't have that much time. So science is to answer the question more specifically, science benefits us by advancing us as a society. We're able to, I'm, I'm able to stand here and have this PowerPoint in front of me and we're able to put on conferences as we are today. And we take all of this information that we've been given, that we've gained from our predecessors and our um, community and we see farther and we reach higher. And your political ideology in relation to all of these ideas and all this information doesn't matter. What matters is what you do with it and how we use it to see further and go farther and get those jetpacks that Scott was talking about earlier. So <clears throat> that's the end of the quiz. <laughs> and just to close, I, I want to make sure that you guys understand that we're all standing here on the shoulders of so many giants that came before us today. And that's what really matters, is how we take what we've been given and go the next step. So to close, um, I have a little challenge for each and every one of you. It's got four steps. Step number one, be informed. And this is easy, I just told you why. We have all this information. Pick up your cell phone, Google whatever you want. Step number two, educate yourself on all the issues that we're facing today, who's talking about them, ask yourself what their biases are, what are they actually saying. Step three, very important, do your research, do your due diligence, figure out what people are saying 
if it's credible or not, all the ins and outs and the intricacies of this complex world we find ourselves in today. And to close, step four, the most important, stand up. Stand up, step up, step forward, step into the future of understanding the universe. Thank you.